obviously been great in building your brand off the field. What advice would you give to a current athlete on how they can build their brand to be the next Michael Strand? Hey, hey, that's funny. I don't think there's... The key is to be great at your main business. To work for football and, and playing well at that, then nothing else will really have happened. I think a lot of guys get mixed up into thinking, let me build a brand. But what are you building your brand off? You, know, you, build your, you need to build your brand off of something. And for me, I was able to just, I guess, parlay any success I had off the field from the success I had on the field. I never lost sight of what my main job was when I was performing um, in the NFL. As great as the league has been over the past few years, if you were commissioner, what would you add and adjust and what advice would you give to Roger Goodell to improve the in-stadium experience? Well, I, you know, I think they do a great job the in-stadium with the in-stadium experience. I, I think, obviously, there need to be, you're going to have to get creative in some way. Do I know exactly what? No. But with the experience at home being as great as it is, where you can pretty much be in the middle of a play and feel like you're acting on the field with the players. And watch you on Sunday. Yeah, exactly. And the, the in-stadium experience, the, way, the reason I think that will always work is just because of the energy that you get from the crowd. And that's something you can't replace at home, no matter what kind of speaker system or what, how loud you turn it up. So I just think that being there, taking your kids, taking your family, building that tradition. And if I were running the deal, I'd focus on more of the tradition of building that building something with your kids, your, your father, your brother, of, of making a family tradition to go and watch these games because you can't catch feel that experience at home. Who are the three quarterbacks that were your favorite to get the opportunity to sack and prepare for on Sunday? McNabb? Well, no, I never really had three. I always had who was the next one we were playing, to be honest with you. I, I, I didn't care who you were, as long as you played the quarterback, it was good for sack. And um, fortunately for me, I was able to do that quite a bit. If you were able to tackle any player in football history right now, you're in perfect football shape right now, who would that be? Any player. Robert Payton would be good. What was the greatest piece of motivation you ever received? Coming out of college, coming out of small college, best piece of advice was um, you're not, you know, Michael Strahan from a small college, you're Michael Strahan, and you're in the NFL because you're one of the best. So it's not where you're from, it's where you're at. And that made me feel comfortable with being in the NFL. And what's it been like to co-host with Kelly Ripa and really increase your brand presence and still maintain your football presence? Well, I have fun. I mean, that's great because she's fun. And our personalities go well together because we just like to enjoy talking and conversation. And um, it's, it's a fun show to do and, and just highlights that, you know, a whole different side of, I guess, my personality and my ability to, um, you know, connect with people. And, and, and she makes it easy. Trust me. It's not all me. She really, she really makes it easy every time I'm in there with her. Thank you. It was nice talking to you. Thank you.